just like all athletes, Pahin Chilich has faced his fair share of injury and setbacks, which has necessitated him to focus on rehabilitation and leg strengthening training. Injuries are an unfortunate reality in the world of sport, and they can be particularly devastating for tennis players who rely heavily on their legs to move around on the tennis court and generate power on their, on their shot. Mahin Cilic has had his fair share of injuries over the years, uh, including knee and ankle issues, which have affected his ability to play at the highest level. As a result, he has had to undertake rehabilitation and leg strengthening training to help him recover and improve his performance on the tennis court. Rehabilitation is a critical part of any athlete's recovery process, particularly when it comes to leg injuries. The goal of rehabilitation is to restore the player's range of motion, flexibility and strength in the affected area, enable them to return to the full fitness as quickly as possible. Mahin Chilich has undergone numerous rehabilitation programs over the years, particularly on the for his knees and ankle injuries, which have required him to take time off from the court and work with his physical therapist to regain his strength and mobility. So one of the key components of rehabilitation program is leg strengthening, stre leg st strengthening training. This involves exercises and drills designed to strengthen his muscles and tendons in, these, in the legs improving the player's ability and balance on the tennis court. For Mahim Chilich, leg strengthening training has been particularly important given the demand of the sport and the toll it can take on the lower body. Leg strengthening, leg strengthening training can take many forms including weight training, polymetric exercise and resistance band workouts. The focus is on building strength in the quadrants, hamstrings, glutes, and calves, as well as improving the player agility and explosiveness. Power. Marine Chilich has incorporated a variety of leg strengthening exercises into his training routine, including squats, lunges, presses, and leg presses, and calf presses, and plyometric jumps. One of the benefits of leg strengthening training is that it can help to reduce the risk of further injuries for improving the player's strength and stability. They are better equipped to handle the physical demand of the sport and less quickly to suffer from overuse of injuries and strain. This is particularly important for older players like Mahin Chilich who may be more prone to injuries due to wear and tear of the bodies over the years. In addition to rehabilitation and leg strengthening training, Mahin Chilich has focused on over other areas of fitness, including cardiovascular training and flexibility. He has worked with the trainer to coaches to develop a well-rounded training program that addresses all aspects of training and mental well-being, enabling him to compete at the highest level as well as possible. In this analysis, we take a closer look at his backhand technique and why he practices it. He practices it. Chilich two-handed backhand is one of the most potent weapons on the tennis court. It allows him to generate a lot of power and control uh, over the ball, make it difficult for, for his opponent to return. The two-handed backhand is one of the common techniques used by many players, but Chilich's version stand out because of his fluidity and speed. One of the main reasons why Chilich practices two-handed two backhand is because it helps him to maintain a solid and stable base on the tennis court. But by using both hands and to grip the racket, he's able to direct more power and control over the ball, which translates into more accurate and forceful shots. Another benefit of two backhand is that it allows Chilich to hit the ball with more top spin. This helps him to keep the ball in play and makes it more difficult for his opens to return. Additionally, the top spin allows the ball to bounce higher, with, which makes it harder for his open uh, to hit winners off the shots. In terms of technique, Chilich uh, 
two hand backhand is characterized by smooth and fluid motion. It begins with the swing by returning the shoulder and hips, which generate a lot of tuck and power. He then brings the racket back with both hands and hands gripping the handle and swing it and swing it forward in a whipping motion. One of the keys to Chilich backhand is the ability to maintain the consistent contact point. This allows him to hit the ball cleanly and make and with a great accuracy. He also uses his legs and more and core muscles to generate more power, which gives him even more control of the ball. Why does Mahin Chilich place a high importance on foot activities in his training routine? Okay, let's find out. Firstly, it's important to understand that tennis is a sport that requires quick, explosive movement on the tennis court. This ability to move efficiently and effectively around the court makes, make, uh, can make a significant difference in players' performance. Footwork drills are designed to enhance a player's agility, coordination, balance, and speed. They help players to develop the necessary footwork drills uh, Oh, so, sorry, skills required to respond quickly and move to the ball with, with precision. Ladder drills, for, for instance, involve a series of precise foot movement performed in a specific sequence. These drills are designed to improve foot, foot speed, balance, and coordination. By incorporating a range of foot movements such as lateral shuffle or quick, or quick steps, and a high knee lifts. Ladder drills can help players to develop a quick and nimble footwork technique. Hardo drills, on the other hand, requires players to jump over a series of hurdles while moving in a specific pattern. This uh, type of drills is particularly useful for developing explosive power and improving coordination. Hardo drills can help players to improve their footwork technique by teaching them to jump and land with precision, as well as how to maintain balance while moving uh, at the high speeds. Running around uh, the tennis court is another effective footwork drill. These drills involve sprinting around the tennis court at full speed, which can help to improve a player's cardiovascular fitness, endurance, and speed. It's also an effective way to develop agility and quickness as players need to change direction quickly and move to the ball with a lot of precision. In addition to improving footwork, footwork technique, footwork drills also help prevent injuries uh, on the tennis court. Tennis players are at risk of developing injuries such as ankle sprains, knee injuries, and muscle strain due to uh, the intense uh, physical demand of the, of the sport. So proper footwork technique can help reduce the risk of injury uh, by promoting a good body mechanics and balance. Mahin Chilich is known for his exceptional footwork on the uh, on the tennis court, uh, and this dedication to his footwork drills uh, and footwork um, training is a statement to his to the importance of the aspect of tennis training. Uh, like I say, it's an in a in a recent interview. Chilich stated that he focused on footwork to prove his agility and speed on the tennis court, mainly. He also mentioned that he practiced running around the tennis court to improve uh, his endurance and overall fitness level. So, Chilich uh, footwork training regimen is a reflection of evolution of modern tennis training methods. In the past, tennis players used to primarily, primarily uh, rely on technique and strength aspects 
with little emphasis on physical coordination. Today, however, players are expected to be physical fit and agile in order to compete at the highest level. So footwork drills uh, have become an integral part of train tennis training, uh, with coaches to recognize the importance of developing with player footwork skills in order to compete successfully on the tennis court. So furthermore, the benefit of footwork drills are not limited to tennis alone. The skills developed through the footwork drills can be applied at, at a wide range of sport, any sport and physical activity. For example, the agility and coordination developed through ladder drills can be used through sports such as basketball and soccer, while explosive, speed, uh, explosive power developed through handle drills can be applied in track field events such as high jump and hurdles. Ah, the second sub is a critical shot in tennis, as it is often hit with less power and accuracy than the first sub. A weak second serve can give you your opponent an opportunity to attack and take cont control of the point. So, uh, uh, therefore, it's an essential to have a, a consistent and reliable second, second serve. The first tip of Mahin Shilish shares is to let the ball drop slightly. This means wait for the ball to come down and hit before uh, a bit, bit down and before hitting it. Sorry, this allows you to get into the better position to hit the ball and gives you more control over the shot. It also helps you to get time uh, to time the shot better and make a clean contact with the tennis ball. The second tip is to get under the ball and hit. It up. This is important because it helps you to create a top spin on the ball, which makes it easier to to clear uh, the net and hang the ball in service box. Getting under the ball also helps you to generate more power and gives you better uh, chance of hitting the ball deep in the tennis court. Finally, Mahin Chilich advises players to make sure uh, the wrist is close. To get a uh, good uh, rotation, this means that your wrist should be relaxed and flexible, allowing you to flick your wrist, uh, flick your wrist, and generate spin on the ball. The spin uh, helps you to control the ball's flight and make it more difficult for your opponent to turn the ball. So. Uh, one additional tip that Mahinshil shares is to hit the ball, uh, a hit, sorry, an aggressive second serve with a lot of racket head speed, as first serve, first serve once in a while. So this can be useful for catching up your opponent off guard and increasing your first serve percentage. However, it's an important to use these tactics sparingly and only when you are confident in your ability to execute the shot. To, to improve your second self, it's essential to practice regularly. Mahin Shilish recommends focusing on your technique and hitting variety of self, including flat, slice, and kick self. Practicing with a partner or a coach can be also uh, be helpful, as they can provide feedback on your technique and help you make any necessary adjustments. When practicing your second self, it's important to start with a slower, more controlled self and gradually increase and speed the speed as you become more comfortable with the with technique. This helps to build confidence and ensure that you are hitting the ball with a good form. Another important aspect of practicing your second serve is to work on your footwork. A good footwork allows you to get into the right position, hit the ball and generate power and spin. Mahinshi uh, recommends practicing your footwork and moving around the caught hitting serves from different positions. In addition to practicing your second serve on the tennis court, it's also important to work on your mental game. Confidence and focus are necessary in social hitting a second serve, as lack of confidence can lead to a mistake and dub double faults. Mahin Shilish suggests using visualization technique to imagine yourself hitting second, successful second serve and staying calm and focused under pressure. The arm muscles are crucial in tennis, particularly for serving and hitting ground strokes. A strong and powerful arm can generate more force and speed. 
allowing Chilish to hit harder and more accurate shots. Additionally, a well-run, a well-developed arm can help prevent injuries, especially in the elbow and shoulder areas. Arm workouts are also beneficial for improving Chilish overall physical fitness as they engage multiple muscle groups, including the, di the biceps, triceps, and forearms. This can enhance his endurance, agility, and flexibility, which are all essential qualities for successful tennis players. Therefore, arm workouts are an, an essential part of Mahin Shurich's fitness routine, helping him to maintain his high level of performance on the tennis court. His technique on the forehand side is considered to be one of the best in the game. And it's no surprise that many aspiring players look up to him as a role model. Let's say Bona Shoric. One of the most striking things about Shoric's forehand is the way he throws his hand in as he keeps the racket head facing towards the target line. This is a unique aspect of his technique, which sets him apart from other tennis players on the tour. His ability to generate tremendous racket head speed while maintaining control is truly impressive. However, despite his impeccable technique, Chilich is not immune of common forehand problems. One such problem that many tennis players face is hitting the ball too late, which can lead to inconsistent shots and missed opportunities. So this is why Chilich places a great deal of emphasis on practicing his forehand on a regular basis. One of the key benefits of practicing the forehand is that it helps develop muscle memory. By hitting thousands of forehands, Chilich has trained his body to instinctively execute the shot with precision and more power. This allows him to focus on other aspects of the game, such as footwork and strategy, without having to worry about the mechanics of his swing. Another benefit of practicing the forehand is that it helps improve consistency. Uh, by hitting the same shot over and over again, Chilich has learned to control the ball with greater accuracy and reduce and force errors. This is particularly important in high pressure situations where a single mistake can be costly, very costly. In addition to practicing the forehand on the tennis court, Chilich also works on his fitness off on the tennis court. He understands that, be, that being physical is fit is essential for performing at high level, and high uh, and he incorporates range of exercise into his training regimen. This includes cardio strength training, flexibility work, all which helps to improve his overall athleticism. So, despite his success on tennis court, Chilich remains humble and dedication to his craft. He knows that there is always room for improvement, and. He, he is constantly looking for ways to refine his game. Just like I want to remind you, whether it's through video analysis like this one, working with his coach or experimenting with new technique, he is always striving to be the best he can be.